Well, hello everyone. I am back with another tacky and outdated video, but this time it's the home edition. I already did the fashion mistakes one where I shared different ways you're dressing a little bit outdated and then the beauty mistakes one. And if you missed those videos, I can link them below, but I just wanna say I am not perfect in any of these categories. In fact, today's video, I'm sharing 12 ways your home looks tacky and outdated and I pulled a lot of inspiration from my own home. Don't feel bad guys, these are just my opinions. These are just some ideas, like literally just some ideas that you can take and potentially use to update your home and make it just look a little bit better. The first way that your home is looking a little tacky and outdated is still having the cream colored outlets and light switches from like the 80s and 90s. They're really not that attractive. It's really just a weird color. Like what is that color? And when we moved into this home like three years ago, they were everywhere and that was the very first thing we did. And I just wanna preface, it's not a fun change. No, it is not. It's actually more time consuming than you might think, but it makes a huge difference once you're done. Just get white, actually just get whatever you like. Um, but it's just the cream color that's like the worst. Uh, so you have to count up everything you have and it's like a whole process. It's gonna probably take a few days for like whoever does it. But again, wow, huge, huge improvement. Number two is this is still in my house to this day. I have done nothing about changing it. So my home, like I said, it definitely looks tacky. It looks outdated. It's the boob light, the boob light. I just like saying that word. I hate the light fixture though. Here it is. Yep. It's, that's what it is. I mean, it's literally like a, a lone boob on your ceiling. But I just honestly don't know what to put there. So this is like a terrible, terrible point. I probably shouldn't put, put it as number two, but it might still be in your home. And it, it, if you can find a good light fixture, it could be recessed lighting. That's really what I should do. I should put recessed lighting there or just a different light fixture altogether. But yes, again, like a day difference. I, I should, I, after this video, I should go do that. Now this one I don't have, but if you do, like I'm like, I'm actually just gonna tell you like, stop. It's the fuzzy toilet seat cover. If you still have that, I mean, not only does it look atrocious in a bathroom, like it was just, I'm so sorry. Normally I'm not that blunt, but it really does look bad. But also, ew, people pee on the seat and then they put the seat cover down and then you're, you're, it's just, I'm not even a germ person. Honestly, like I really am not. I am not a germaphobe in any way, but a toilet seat fuzzy carpet cover thing. Oh, and then the matching thing that goes around the toilet that probably also gets all of the pee splashes. I mean, I have little boys. I know what goes on the floor. Just, just get rid of that. Okay, the next way your home is looking a little bit tacky, not necessarily outdated. And this is something nobody ever really talks about, but it has to do with your television cords. And it doesn't even apply to everybody because it all just kind of depends how your TV is mounted. But hypothetically, say your TV is mounted to the wall and you just see all of the cords coming out of the TV, it just doesn't look good. It looks so bad and, and, and there's just so many better things you can do to conceal the cords. The, the best way in my opinion, and this is what Josh did all throughout our house, and it honestly took like 45 minutes every time, but it is cutting a small hole in the drywall and then feeding the cords into that hole down the entire wall. And I know that's more permanent, but even if you upgrade your TV later, you can still use that hole. And again, it just makes the space look so much more clean. Now, if you're in an apartment or somewhere where you obviously can't put a hole in your wall, uh, there are so many different things on Amazon, like cord covers that you can paint to match it to your wall color. And then it's really flush and flat. And then again, it just hides and conceals all of the ugly cords. The next way your home is looking dated, like full blown outdated, is when you follow trendy patterns too closely. And so my example for this one is Chevron. So there for a while, I mean, Chevron was so popular. It just came onto the scene so fast. Everyone loved it. I mean, if you have Chevron in your home and you love it, I mean, honestly, who the heck cares what I say? Who the heck cares what anyone thinks? Keep it. However, I do think Chevron patterns it's just outdated uh, and, and you know, people got Chevron pillowcases, curtains, and I'm talking like window curtains and shower curtains. People did the backsplash of their kitchen in Chevron patterns. And just when a, a trendy pattern comes up, just beware because it might go away really fast. So that leads me to the next huge trend we've seen in the last couple of years. Everyone is doing this. This might offend some people. A lot of people are probably gonna disagree with me, but I think this trend is really on its way out and is about to make a lot of people's homes outdated and it's shiplap walls. Yes, and I'm so sorry. A lot of people are just like, they're adding shiplap to so many of their walls, like everywhere. And I think that it's something that blew up so quickly it's gonna just quickly go out. I think we're gonna, there's gonna be time when we look back 
And you know how sometimes we see wood paneling on walls from like decades ago and we're like, oh my gosh, that looks so bad. This whole house needs to be updated. Yeah, that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna say about ship blocked walls. So I'm so sorry if you have that throughout your house, maybe I'll be wrong, hopefully I'm wrong. But if you're in that weird zone where you're thinking about adding it, to a, a wall or, or different rooms in your home, you could just maybe take a step back and maybe think twice. Farmhouse signs. Yes, comes as no surprise. I've talked about this on my channel before. I am so tired of farmhouse, just the whole farmhouse vibe in general. It doesn't even have to be signs, just like the farmhouse theme. If you live in a farmhouse, Heck yeah, have the, the farmhouse sign, the live, love, laugh. Actually don't have that one. You could have the, the market fresh eggs. I don't know, they're just kind of weird. They're weathered. They look a little bit cluttery, kind of like all scattered through your house. Um, but again, most of us don't live in a farmhouse, so it just doesn't make sense. And I do just wanna say, I am no interior designer or expert. Like, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about half the time, which maybe that just makes me, like that's what we're on the same level, guys. But I do think matching furniture sets are making your home look outdated. And I totally understand why people did this before because I mean, heck, I, I'm surprised I didn't do it because you could just buy like this five piece furniture set. Everything looked good together. You could just bring it in, no thinking required. The room was done, let's move on. However, that's just not what looks kind of like up to date these days, you know, just having complementing furniture, but yet they look similar yet different. Like that's way, way more in style these days. And I'm not saying you just need to get rid of all of your furniture, I would say maybe just get rid of a few pieces, maybe sell a few pieces, maybe your nightstand, if it matches your dresser and your bed frame perfectly, maybe, maybe sell your nightstand and get a new one that kind of complements it. Now, speaking of matchy matchy, this next one is a little bit more technical. Now, if your living room or your bathroom or really just any room in your house is only decorated with two colors, it could look a little bit tacky, a little too matchy matchy. And I used to do this too. Like I would pick two colors to kind of design and decorate a room. And our eye has a natural tendency with even numbers, especially two, to couple those colors together. And it just looks too matched. Whereas if you introduce a third complementing color to that color scheme, everything looks more balanced, everything looks more cohesive, and everything looks more up to date. Now, before I move on from that point, I do just wanna stress, you don't even have to pick three specific colors then keep yourself in this box. Like, I think that's the beauty of this kind of design era that we're in. We can just bring in pieces that we like and that kind of work together, and it's not so strict. Okay, this next one is kind of a no-brainer. I'm sure you guys know this, but having very colorful, like multicolored rooms throughout your home, it's gonna make your house look Dated. And that's just because 15 years ago, that was all the rage. Everybody had different colored rooms throughout their house. Like I had a yellow kitchen with a blue dining room and my bedroom was bright red, like what? But that was what everyone did. And now everyone has more neutral colored walls. You know, everyone kind of went through a gray phase then to like beige and now everyone's kind of getting into more white. And I have no idea what the next kind of like big wall color change will be. However, it's an easy change. And I guess that's my point. If you pick something that you love right now, do it because it really is an easy fix. And then if down the line you wanna paint it again, yeah, it might be a couple hundred dollars to update it. But again, it's such an easy and not permanent update. This next thing I have everywhere. So I know it looks bad. I know it looks outdated. I don't know if I'll ever fix it, but it's textured ceilings or popcorn ceilings. And I know a lot of you are watching and you probably have that in your home and, and it's not even something easy to fix. It's actually very costly to fix. And I've read that you should really have a professional do it because there can be asbestos and there's just like a lot of precautions that should, that should happen when you remove that. But yeah, smooth ceilings are definitely way better looking. And I'm really only putting it in this video for people that are building a house because my mom recently built a house and she didn't even think about like that being a thing and then she came into the house one day and there was just texture everywhere through the ceilings and she's just upset about it. And so it's more just something that if you can avoid the, the textured ceilings, go for the smooth. 
it's way better. And then we have the easiest fix of them all. And that's just simply getting rid of the clutter in your home. Just take a big basket, walk around your house, pull things off the shelves, off tables, just get rid of clutter and make your home look a little bit more minimalistic. And that instantly makes your home look more stylish and more up to date. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on over in this video where I share specific ways you're dressing a little outdated. I'll see you on over there. Bye.